Okay, so we're starting our tour and we're right in the furthest end of Darwin Gardens. So this is the very end of the terraces. The pub is just over the other side of this wall. And we're going to take you on a little walking tour through Darwin Gardens. It's a very nice day. This is Darwin's allotment, run by the students. It's an old punt that they've used there. Go through. There's some construction work going on at the moment, so I have to bear with that. Just while the students are away, we can get everything done over the summer. Those terrace gardens. All of which back onto the cam, so that's the cam down at the bottom there. All the houses on the left are student houses. They're all back onto the bottom, onto Darwin Gardens. You can see the construction at the moment at the rain building. That's just going on over the sun. Number four Newman Terrace. This is the last acquired one that joined up the rest of the garden. Let's go down to the bottom. You can see the cam running right along the bottom here. The building you can see in front, in the middle of the screen, there's a dining hall. Which can be accessed through the main college building. This lovely building in front is what the parlour's in. You can bring coffee out here in the summer months when it's nice like it is today. I go down to the seating area. And again, you can see from here Cam stretching up towards the Granter. Over Llamas Land and down towards the bridge and out towards Skidamore's Pump. Because the Granter punting station's up that way, a lot of punt traffic comes along here, which is always fun to watch, especially when people don't know how to punt properly. The rain building currently being redone at the moment. And this building here is the reading room with the deanery and the master's office above it. Darwin is situated on the largest stretch of the River Cam for a college. It stretches right the way over down to the study centre. at the moment so a lot of work's being done. This is the bridge which goes over to the island. And this is the old granary in front of you. This bit here is our croquet lawn, also known as the tennis court. Up here goes to the painted room, which is one of our fellow officers. And below it is the punch shed.
There's also a bike shed down here. And access to the study centre building. It's through that door. Which takes you in one of the other walking tours. That's Newnham Grange, another student accommodation. This is the first island, so this can be rented out for barbecues. During Freshers Week, this is rented out for the Freshers. Some really nice quiet spots around as we go on to the second island. While you've got the cam going through it, the gardens themselves are private gardens. So unlike the other colleges where you get tourists going through, college gardens are private in Darwin. <laughs> We're going through onto the wild island now. It's left, it's cultivated by the gardeners to be left mainly wild so that many of Darwin's rare birds and not so rare, some ducks there. You can go through. And it creates a little bit of an ecosystem. You can see you can still come and sit around here as well and this is a nice place if you want a bit more shady a bit of a shadier spot also back across onto the Grand pub but the only access to this island is over the bridge <laughs> <laughs> 